Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well as usual. So I am back today to do another reading to see what is going on in the collective of Twin Flame Connections or Divine Soulmate Connections. So as always, we're going to be looking at the masculine's energy and we're also going to be looking at the feminine's energy as well as what is coming up in the next couple of weeks. And it is general, so do keep that in mind that whatever comes through in this reading is not going to be everybody's situation, right? So it may or may not resonate for you because we are all on different um, timelines or in different waves. So yeah, it's kind of hard to tap into everybody. So just keep that in mind. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And if you are interested in a cord cutting session, you can email me about those or you can check out my community page where I've made some posts about those there as well. All right, I think that's all I had to say. So let's get into it. Let's see what is going on with the masculines currently. All right, and we have a self-love and realization, right? So it's a number six and a number three. So this is something that is happening for the masculines currently is having a huge realization that they need to love themselves and what that is and the fact that the way that they have been behaving or what they have been doing, the way they have been living their lives is not reflective of self-love. So I feel like this is actually coming in very, very strongly here as a very big wake-up call. <clears throat> Let's get a few more oracle cards and see what else we get here. All right, because this self-love, it really is at the bottom of like <clears throat> a lot of the challenges, a lot of the barriers, a lot of the blockages. It really does come down to a lack of self-love and that's okay because that is something that we are all meant to work on and to have progress for. All right, we also have a risk. <clears throat> And let me just get a couple more from this deck and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, and we have patience, grief, and numbing. All right, so first of all, what I'm getting here is that whatever this realization is in terms of self-love it is connected to them feeling like they need to take a risk so it's kind of like these two go together so the more that they um come into this awareness of self-love and finding that self-love for themselves which also means it's an increased sense of self-worth and um <clears throat> wanting to have what it is that they feel like they deserve deep down and what it is that is meant for them, right? That is associated with taking a risk, all right? So it's going to be different for each of them, um, but the more that they find this self-love, the more that they step into this risk-taking type of an energy, which is actually something that is very, very positive. Now, with the bottom parts here, what I'm also getting is that another part of this major realization is that <clears throat> things have been taking a long time, all right? There's this could even be knowing that their Divine Feminine has been very, very patient in the past. Um, maybe their Divine Feminine is not so patient anymore. Maybe, you know, your tolerance, if you're a feminine watching this, has <clears throat> decreased, which is fine because, you know, you're, you're detaching, right? So you're not just sitting around waiting the way you used to, all right? It, now, of course, this isn't going to apply to everybody, but I do feel like it applies to most of my viewers, at least in comparison to how you were at some point in the past, all right? Again, everybody's different, but I feel like, you know, there is a difference here. So there, knowing that you have been so patient, that is causing them this grief. So I do feel like that's related a little bit to guilt as well. <clears throat> but not only that, it's also the fact that they have been delaying this and them knowing that time is passing that also is causing them grief at the moment so it's like this big realization okay like self-love and why is it taking me so long to get there and I know I need to take this risk but you know like there's this sadness attached to that and numbing so even though there's this realization and you know that's all good and positive and everything 
Um, they are engaging a little bit in numbing, which just pretty much means that they're trying to distract themselves. That's what I'm getting. So for some of you though, it could be very specific. It definitely could be, um, you know, literal numbing like drinking, for example, to numb this out. But because there's so much grief, they are engaging in a little bit of numbing. But I don't, I don't get that it's too much. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what else we need to know. Well, I mean, really, we don't really need to know. <laughs> um, but what can we know that might be helpful for the masculines? Just overall. All right, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, the King of Swords, and the Empress. All right, so overall, the masculines right now, I mean, they do have you on their mind, all right? And when I say you, I'm referring to the Divine Feminine, although, of course, it could be that Divine Masculines are watching. This is just how I do this reading, all right? Because most viewers are going to be feminines. Um, so yeah, you're definitely on their mind big time here, and they're definitely very, very much aware and very, very clear that this is what they want. But what's interesting to me is also that I feel like at the moment there's this sense of, I don't know how to explain this, but it's, it's coming in as like, um, not putting in effort right now, not putting in effort right now. There's almost a sense of, all right, you know what, like I've already mess things up, um, uh, so I'm just not even going to try right now. And I, I get that that's like, it's like a temporary energy, because we have the King of Swords right after that, so it's like finding that willpower eventually, but the way that this is coming in for me, it's like, yeah, right now, it's it's feeling like, all right, you know, I've messed things up. I'm just not going to try, even though I really know what I want. And even though, like, I'm very clear about that. And it's like, they do have this determinism, but at the same time, just not acting on it because they feel like, like it's just something not possible for them at the moment. We will get more information. I'll probably clarify that. But let's move on and see what... <clears throat> what exactly they're thinking. All right, we have Temperance, the Eight of Cups in reverse, and the King of Wands. So two kings up right here. So this is actually <clears throat> really, really good. It almost feels like, um, it's like I'm getting that, when they were, because at some point they were putting in effort and for whatever reason it didn't work, all right? Whatever, whatever um, challenge specifically each of them has, whatever kind of effort they were putting into overcoming that challenge, it didn't work. So I guess that's what the me I messed up means here. It just didn't work <clears throat> for whatever reason. And so it's like they took a step back and they're still in that. Physically, like when it comes to taking action, they're in that energy of having taken that step back because whatever it was that they were putting effort into, it just didn't work. But I'm getting this as a positive because it's kind of like this um, phase where it's like, yeah, you know, at some point though, I will, I will overcome this and I will do it. It's like that determinism is there. But it's more like, okay, um, waiting for, for the right, I don't even want to say the right time, although that is also part of it, but it's not just waiting for the right time. It's waiting for certain things to have aligned or for it to be possible for them to do things in a different way. And I feel like that's like, it's like almost here, like it's here basically, um, and that's why it's showing up like this. So that's why we have temperance here. It's kind of like, all right, you know, let me just not put in any more effort. Let me just um, allow things to play out. And it, so it's more of like going with the flow. And that is actually going to help them to overcome whatever their challenge is. All right. And for each of them, it's going to be something different for some of them. You know, they might be involved in a karmic relationship. It could be um, 
a fear of commitment. It could be, you know, just being submissive to other people, to cultures, to traditions. It, I mean, it could just be so many different things. Um, just wanting to be um, single or, you know, anything. They have not walked away from you, though. That's why we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, they have not walked away from you. I'm actually seeing this as them um, knowing that they cannot leave this behind, that they cannot move on from this. And I feel like for some of them who may have um, convinced themselves that they have that they had moved on, um, they're like coming back to you. It's like like you're back in their energy, they're back in your energy, that kind of a thing. There's something else I wanted to say, but now it's it's escaped me. That's okay. All right, let's see what's going on with them emotionally. The High Priestess in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. All right, Third King, this one in reverse, because emotionally they're not very stable. Um, and I feel like it's because of, you know, this realization of that self-love that it's been missing, that it's been lacking. And... <clears throat> And because of the fact that, you know, whatever they've done up until this point just has not worked. Because deep down, you know, they, they will always feel this pull. They will, they will always feel this magnetism. Their, their higher self will always be pushing them towards coming into this alignment where then union with their divine feminine is possible. So they were, they're always going to feel that. Okay, so because though everything they've done so far has not worked, like... They're, they've tried to deny it, you know, all of these things. Now <laughs> they're realizing that, okay, you know, self-love and everything I did just didn't work. Um, this is creating a lot of emotional instability. However, if you are in contact with your masculine, I feel like they're not being very expressive about any of this, all right? Because we have the High Priestess here. She's in reverse. Um, even if she was upright, but just her being in reverse, I feel like they're being um, extremely quiet about it, really not not sharing this information, number one. And number two, um, even emotionally, like they can feel like that they are not in that alignment. And it's because they, um, because they have not found the way yet to go after what it is that they want. But they're gaining that power here with the King of Swords and the King of Wands. I mean, they're really feeling determined. They just don't know how. It's like that determinism is there, but they know that everything they've done so far is not working. So they're just not trying yet. Almost until like, you know, they, they figure out, okay, what is the way that I need to do this? All right, let's, um, I want to clarify a couple of these. Let's get a little more detail here. Let's see, yeah, that nine of wands in the top row, this one wanted to fly up. All right, and we have the two of wands. Yeah, so holding back, um, because things did not work out, any plan that they had, um, it didn't work out, so they're holding back for now. It's pretty much just confirming what I said. Let's see if there's anything else for this row here. And we have the death card in reverse. Okay. So this is them just being very, very clear and very, very determined that they cannot let this go. All right. You are in their life. You are going to be in their life. You know, this is how they feel about you. That's not going to change. It's just not going to shift. It's not going to go anywhere. Like this is just how it is. It's something that's like un unmutable. Is that the word? You guys know what I'm saying. All right. Let's move on to the second row. All right, Six of Cups in reverse again. Second time we're getting that. The Strength card and the King of Wands in reverse. Clarifying the King of Wands. All right. There's, there's a lot of nostalgia here, all right? There is a lot of nostalgia here um, from the masculine side towards their, towards their feminine, but they're trying to keep that in check. Like they're trying, they're trying really hard 
to have some kind of control over over that nostalgia, right? To temper themselves, basically. So not only that, I mean, this is them just, again, I feel like it's the, the, the time issue, you know, them just feeling like time has passed, like there has been, the, the feminine has been patient, and they know that, um, but yeah, they know that it's been too long, and there's so, so there is this fear of, you know, it being too long. And I think it does go back to kind of what I've said about, okay, I've messed up, you know, so I'm just not going to try yet, like, until something feels very different in their approach. So that's kind of, that's kind of it here. That's, that's the thing here. And just this whole idea of them not being able to walk away from you or to, to leave you in the past, like, that's, Again, it's something that is very, very conscious and it's very, very strong um, within their minds. Like, like they just know this. Like they know this on a very logical level. It's not just something that they feel. It's like they know this. All right. So, yeah. And they know that um, they need to step it up. They're going to need to step it up. They're going to need to pull on some extra willpower in order to overcome whatever their whatever their challenge is. So, I mean, they are. It's like they're building up to that King of Wands here, right? Because they know they've been that King of Wands in reverse in the past without even realizing it. You know, there were times where, you know, they thought they were doing what they needed to do, but no. All right, let's see this bottom row. we have the Emperor in reverse, the Six of Wands, and the Star in reverse. Yeah, so emotionally they're not doing, they're not doing so well. Um, they're going through, they're going through a rough time. The only reason why they're being quiet about this is because they, I'm getting that they kind of feel ashamed about everything in the way that it has happened or they're feeling ashamed um, at the moment, maybe about something just more specific. But there's also, yeah, it's, it's, it's like feeling ashamed. They can't just come up and say all of these things when they don't have their plan set or when they have not pulled on this willpower yet to overcome whatever, whatever it is that they need to overcome. I do feel like something is happening though. I mean, there must be something big happening and I feel like we're not meant to know just yet, but there's definitely something big happening that is pushing them to uncover this, um, on love. Uh, sorry, the, the, yeah, well, there must be a reason why I said it like that, on love. <laughs> that they didn't love themselves in the way that they should, in the way that is meant for them to, right? It's just this pure, genuine, unconditional love that we need to also have for our own selves, unlove basically, to their self. So it's this realization about that. And I feel like whatever, whatever it is that is causing them to have this realization, it must be something big because that's not something easy. We don't just step into self-love, you know, just by little, um, trivial things in life. No, it's usually big things in life that make us realize that or that get us there to self-love. So, and it's not an easy process. It's definitely not an easy process. So the fact that they miss you so much, the fact that there is so much nostalgia here, that is actually giving them drive. That is actually giving them motivation and making them feel like, you know, that they need to get their shit together basically and do something about this like they want to find some kind of way to have success with you because the nostalgia is also very very strong at the moment and that's creating like i said a lot of emotional instability for them especially thinking or feeling like you know what if what if it's too late or what if um you know like this isn't even possible anymore at some point so the idea of possibly losing you is is scaring them, right? Like the star in reverse, like feeling like there might not be hope anymore the more that time passes. So 
Um, yeah, I feel like the messages are kind of general, but that's just what wants to come through. So let's move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up. So it feels like it's still a little quiet. I know in the last reading it was the, um, it was like the quiet before the storm. So I don't know what it is that is taking so long to like actually like happen and play out because I really felt like it was, um, going to kind of burst like at the end of October, but it's already like mid-November and I haven't seen it. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It feels like it's still kind of quiet here. I mean, yeah, definitely something big happening in terms of the self-love, but it still feels quiet in comparison to like what I was getting that was building. So it could still be building. Um, or it could still be the quiet before the major slap in the face. And this like event of, you know, self-love um, or lack thereof realization might be like a, like a prep for it, like a preparation um, to whatever is coming next. All right, but let's see. Let's see for the feminines. We have Will. Okay, well, well there's Will <laughs> on the feminine side. Um, let's see what else. And it is the number 13. All right, and we have Love. Let me just get the last ones before I say anything. All right, fifth dimension, recognition and healing. Okay. So a couple of messages here for the feminines or about the feminines. With this will card, I'm actually getting that it's like, because you have grown so much in terms of your own sense of self-love, because I'm getting that that's what that is um, for the most part. Because of that, it's like, it's like you're breaking away from the attachment in a way where it's like, it's like this realization that you were allowing yourself to in some way be controlled by the masculine, even if it was just on an energetic level, almost like you weren't even using your own free will because you were doing things based on, you know, what you thought they might do or what, what they might be doing or what might happen or I don't know. But with the will card, I'm just really getting that this is really about like using your own free will and making decisions like very, very independent of your masculine, which is good because that's what sh ultimately shows this detachment and also is showing that self love, like putting yourself first and not basing decisions or, you know, or not even just decisions, but how you feel right? How your emotional state on a daily basis, it's not dependent on, on your masculine, at least not as much as it was before. All right. It's always, it's always relative. All right. And this is so interesting. The other message I'm getting here is that there's this deep realization that that the love between you and your masculine, it's unbreakable. And I feel like that does bring you some comfort at the same time, but it's also just very healing. Not that you need the comfort, like, you know, you're still whole, you're, you, you can still be fulfilled and all of that. Yeah, but just recognizing the love and that it's always there no matter what is playing out in the 3D, just knowing that that there's this connection, there's this bond that can never be replaced by anybody else. It's just, you know, you and the masculine because you are connected in that way. You realizing that in some way has been very healing for you. Like it has allowed you to heal because then it's like, it's like this pressure is, is being relieved. And that in turn, like helps you also to exercise that free will more independently 
Well, I mean, you guys, I hope you get what I'm saying. Because I know that sounds a little contradictory. Well, if you're exercising free will, then obviously that means you're independent. So, yeah, that's what I mean, though. A lot of you might be having very particular dreams. Um, I'm also getting that. Very particular dreams um, concerning your masculine here. All right, in, in the fifth dimension. Those are also serving a healing purpose. All right, let's just get a couple of tarot cards for the feminines. All right, we have the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so there is still some grief and sadness that creeps up on you. And yeah, I mean, that's okay. For some of you, it could be that you're picking this up from your masculine if it doesn't make sense to you, okay? So if you feel like it doesn't really make sense to you, you are picking it up from your masculine. And I say this because we have the King of Wands right after, which we had the King of Wands twice um, show up for them. So I do see this as being actually the masculine. So for some of you, you might be picking that up. And it is related to the fact that, you know, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you know, the fact that the two of you are not, you know, building this um, future together or that at the moment at least or that, you know, things are just not put into place just yet. Like you have not reached that um, completion just yet. That's why the masculine is feeling that. And also, yeah, because the masculines also have this grief card, right, because of the time um, having passed and knowing, you know, how patient you have been. So for a lot of you, it is picking up on your masculine's energy. So do know that, especially if you are connecting with them like quite a bit in the 5D, which I was just talking about, which I'm getting for, for a lot of you also. Um, but then, you know, for others of you, and even for those of you that this resonated with, yeah, it could just be that you are also, you know, having having periods of feeling that grief, of feeling that sadness. But what I'm getting with this is that it's not like it's not like it's taking control over you. I feel like you actually have control over this. Like like the sadness that comes or the grief that comes um, with this situation, like you're able to handle that. You're able to overcome it. You're able to just cope with it. Yes, it's still um, not pleasant. I'm not saying it's all like easy, but I feel like, you know, you are just conquering that and just, you know, moving, moving along, like you you keep moving forward. And again, I feel like that's really closely associated to you knowing that this, this love is there and you just trust, you just trust that everything's going to be okay. And again, you know, anything that I say on the feminine side, if it doesn't really resonate, you know, you can take a lot of it as guidance. So yes, trust that it's going to be okay. Know that you can overcome, you know, like these spells of, of sadness or grief that, that you may be going through because it is all happening for a reason. And it's, it is, um, for the purpose of your growth as well. Okay, so let's move on to what might be coming up. For the masculines in the next week or two. Yeah, all right. Queen of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Swords and Judgment. So there we go. <laughs> That's where it is. Things, yeah, it's a major wake up call is is coming. I feel like there is a major event that is really just going to bring them to their knees, basically. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Um, it is going to involve either self-love or just emotions. Like it just emotionally, it's going to bring them to their knees, basically. And it is going to be a very huge um, wake up call. I feel like for a lot of them, it's going to be like a very specific event as well. Like it's not just energetic, but of course it could be, we'll see when we get there, but yeah, huge, huge, um, energy coming in here, which is going to feel very, very devastating for them, but that's what they need in order to, you know, have some kind of a resurrection here, you know, make a huge shift and 
possibly, you know, finally do something differently that will actually work. Um, all right, let me just get three for the feminines. What to be mindful of coming up or just any guidance or just any message. All right, Seven of Swords, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. I feel like there's going to be something um, for a lot of you that you're going to either hear about or find out about or just something. And whatever that is, it's going to be deceptive. It's something that is not going to be true. Um... So do be mindful of that. I don't know if it relates to your masculine or if it's something else that's just, you know, related to your growth and healing. But um, something here is not going to be very um, pure or it's not going to be very honest, um, not very truthful. Whatever it is that you might find out or something that might seem like it's happening, it's like not really happening or something along those lines. And I feel like it's going to be very easy for you to... Um, get confused about this or to just not see the situation clearly so just just keep that in the back of your mind you know to you know try to have a clear perspective or a clear mindset like if you're making any like major decisions or um, about something that you hear that might just you know be affecting you in a particular way like know that it might not be exactly as it seems or as it appears whatever that is um, yeah and I don't know what that is Okay, so let's get a couple of oracle cards to close this out. Or maybe something is not going to go through for you. Like maybe some kind of a plan. I feel like it might get canceled or something might not happen. But just know like if that is the case, there's a reason. Like, it's not meant to happen. <laughs> All right, so don't fret about it. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, we have fork in the road. We've got three. Fork in the road, yang, and message in a bottle. Okay, so, yeah. Somebody is really, I feel, taking action on some kind of a dilemma here, right? Um, and I don't know, this could be pertaining to the masculine. It also could be pertaining to you. I'm getting this. I mean, I feel like it's more useful um to take the messages for your own self first of all yes there is something you're finding out about okay message in a bottle no idea what that is um and it might even be positive it might not be related to this but i feel like there is some kind of news coming in for you i also do get that it has to do with the masculine and that that is a part of their wake-up call and that it's also something that is going to push them to take action on on a dilemma here all right on something that they've been stagnant um but for you I'm also getting, you know, that it is guidance that, you know, if you are stuck somewhere, if you are trying to make a decision, um, I feel like it's time. It's time to, to do something, right? Just like it's time for the masculines, it's also time for you, for the feminine. So whatever that might be for you, okay? It's going to be something different for, for each of you. Just, you know, be wary of certain things not being exactly um as you thought or something just might happen differently than than what you were expecting make sure to have a clear mind as much as possible about it all right guys that is it i'm leaving it at that please give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you and i will talk to you very soon much love